What's up everyone? John Brent from Techno Buffalo here with an unboxing of one of the many Kindles coming out of Amazon's camp. This is the Fire HDX 8.9. It's got a crazy high resolution screen, it's got a ton of new processing power, it's got a lot of new tricks under its hood. Let's go ahead and open it up, take a first look and see if it should be the tablet to be in your bag. All right, so here is the box for the Fire HDX 8.9. The folks at Amazon also send us a ton of accessories that if you stick around, we will take a look at at the end of the video. So here is the box for the tablet. It's got the Fire HDX on the front, Fire HDX on the side, some pictures and specs and that kind of stuff, but you know, you don't have to read because we're gonna do a video on it. I've been a really big fan of the Fire tablets and I still maintain these are the best tablets to get your parents or grandparents just because they can call Mayday and not have to ask you, how do I connect to the internet? And no joke, this is what I got my dad. Uh, let's go ahead and pull the tab. And that is a pretty easy unboxing experience. Uh, pricing on this guy is gonna start at 379 for the 16 gig version. Uh, it goes up to 494 for 64 gigabyte versions, also a 32 in between. Get it with or without offers and with or without LTE. Wow, really thin. I'm actually surprised how thin this guy actually is. Push up the side for a real quick second. I'm gonna tell us a little bit about what it's got on it, but you know, we're gonna figure that out on our own. Uh, we've got a micro USB cable, which at this point, I'm guessing you guys already have like 80 of these laying around. Uh, we also have a wall wart. Same thing, I'm guessing you've got an equal number of wall warts laying around uh, as well, but if you don't, Amazon provides you one. Push all that stuff off to the side. And let's take a look at the tablet itself, all wrapped in plastic. One of my favorite things about my job is take things out of plastic. I know that sounds trite, but I love doing it. It's so much fun. I still get that same excitement as I did the very first time I unboxed something. Take it out of here. Come on. Oh, I can just tear it. I'm just gonna just like a kid on Christmas. Be like, oh my gosh, Nintendo 64. And here is the Kindle Fire, I shouldn't say Kindle, the Fire HDX 8.9 looking very svelte. I went on a diet, probably the same diet camp as those Kia hamsters, uh, really thin. Let's go ahead and power it on, and I'll run through all the specs of this guy, and there's a lot of specs uh, crammed under the hood here. So hey, smiley Amazon logo. So you are looking at an 8.9 inch screen, if you couldn't guess from that 8.9 in the name. Uh, with a really high resolution, it is 2560 by 1600. If you can do quick math, that is a 339 pippy, which is a lot of pippies. Uh, it's also 30% more pixels than the iPad Air 2, in case you were wondering. Uh, this thing comes in at 13.2 ounces, so the Fire HDX 8.9 is lighter than the already super light iPad Air 2, in case you were wondering. So we've got this guy all set up and the screen is gorgeous. I mean, as is starting to be the case with most tablets, but this one looks especially nice. And as Amazon's saying, we should have way better visibility in direct sunlight as well, which is really nice if you're gonna try and use this as a reader. Let's say at the beach on a tropical vacation, which you know you deserve. Uh, being powered by a 2.5 gigahertz quad core processor, so it's 70% faster graphics performance with two gigs of RAM and the Adreno 420 GPU for quicker gaming and smoother video. Uh, on the back of it, we've got eight megapixel camera. You also have Firefly and Mayday here um, as well. So the Fire HDX, the first tablet to feature the Adobe Atomos experience, which is just fancy talk for supposedly transforming the headphone listening uh, experience by creating multi-dimensional sound that flows around and above you. That's just a lot of fancy marketing talk for it should sound pretty good with headphones plugged in, but get good headphones, otherwise, what's the point? Uh, and running Fire OS 4, let's take a look at Fire OS 4. Uh, so one of my favorite features, I'm just gonna go ahead and pull this down, uh, is Mayday. Mayday is incredible. It'll help you set up anything you wanna do. You get a person that shows up right here, and as I mentioned before, it is awesome for parents, so you don't have to be tech support all the time. Uh, Firefly, of course, is here as well, that we, uh, I guess, saw first debuted with the Fire Phone, let you sort of show anything that'll sparkle for. We have a whole demonstration on Firefly that we did with the Fire Phone. I'll put a link down below if you want to take a look at that coverage. Uh, so a pretty simple and really intuitive UI here. So you've got the Silk browser, which is sort of their browser. Uh, it works very well, it's pretty quick. It does JavaScript, HTML uh, relatively fast. Of course, multi-touch, all that regular standard stuff um, is here as well. Amazon App Store, which is growing and has pretty much everything that you can need, or at least a version of something uh, that you can, of course, get access to Amazon's already pretty awesome 
selection of books, movies, and TV shows. Uh, obviously, I'm trying to push Amazon Prime here for you as well. Uh, you can go ahead and see on top what we've got. You've got games. If you want to download more games, go ahead and go back. All of your apps, or if you want to download more apps, are going to be here as well, either on cloud or device. It'll show you what you want if you just select that little toggle right there. Uh, but a lot of, we'll go ahead and go to device. You can see what comes on here instead of what I've downloaded in the cloud. Uh, new icons here as well. Um, photo importer makes sort of managing your photos a lot easier. Let's see what the camera UI looks like. See the 8 megapixel shooter on the back, which my finger was definitely covering. It's just like a giant viewfinder. You can take pictures with it or video, but just, just don't be that guy or gal uh, if you can avoid it. So everything's broken out here very nice and neatly um, on that ribbon on top. All your apps you can show up right here. What you've used most will show up in this carousel. Uh, very easy to, to use and navigate through all your books and stuff. You can see the things we've downloaded. I have my grandfather uh, has one of the giant old school Kindles. Um, he's got my account linked up to it and he's a very avid reader. So I always see new books whenever I check out a new Kindle device. Um, this has been just a first look and hands-on with the brand new Kindle Fire H.9. Same Kindle experience you've seen, and we've loved the uh, Fire tablets in the past. Let's look to sort of continue that trend, albeit in a way thinner package. It's really nice to see Amazon do. Of course, we've got rotation as well. I mentioned in the beginning that if you stuck around, we'd show you the accessories that came with it as well. Uh, here's an HDMI adapter in case you want to connect the sucker to your TV. Uh, some case options as well. Of course, there's a ton of third-party options. Here is the leather origami case, which is going to be $69. So it's not for the uh, faint of wallet, uh, but it is really cool. So I'll go ahead and show you how that works. I'll go ahead and put this guy inside of it. So over the years, I've had a chance to play with a lot of accessories. Uh, I had to look at this guy to see how to install it. I just sort of dropped it in, a little bit of a magnetic snap, and I figured I had to push in, but you don't. It just holds in like that, which is really super easy. I can still access all the stuff on the left-hand side. Of course, you've got your power and charge port. Right-hand side, there's your 3.5 millimeter headset jack. On the back, you can still access your um, volume up and down and the power. It looks really nice. So origami, you can do all kinds of fun stuff with it. You can sort of stand it any way you want. You can turn it. Uh, you can prop it up. You can do a lot of sort of neat things uh, with the case. So they've done a pretty cool job with it. So that's a nice little compliment to your Fire HDX. I'm trying really hard to not say Kindle Fire HDX. Uh, they also sent us a external Bluetooth keyboard, which I don't believe attaches. I think it's just sort of an external keyboard. Uh, but let's take a look at it. This guy, if you want to get it from Amazon, is going to set you back $59. So they are more than happy to sell you accessories. Uh, this is also going to come with its own charger. So this is sort of its own unique thing. It appears with its own battery pack, but we'll see. More plastic! Yay! It's unboxed. Um, you can go ahead and use the keyboard and get your typing on. Of course, you got power and Bluetooth there uh, as well. Anyway, guys, anything else you want to see, be sure to let us know about the Fire uh, HDX. We love Amazon tablets here. Um, so leave the comments down below. We'll make sure we give you some more coverage on it if you guys want. Uh, check us out at technobuffalo.com for the latest and greatest tech news. Until next time, John Rettinger. See you guys next video. Bye-bye. Thank you guys for watching, hope you enjoyed. If you want to see more videos from folks who just love technology, hit the big subscribe button. And if you also want to see us play games, albeit sometimes horribly, check us out at twitch.tv slash technobuffalo.